Hi to all, welcome back to a day in my life log. I got these raw green peas today morning, removing the skin and then I will store it in an Ziploc bag in the freezer. Can use it for one or two month. For today's lunch, I am going to make a kutu curry with green gram, banana and sweet potato. Had soaked the green gram for 30 minutes. The original recipe is with channa. I am going to prepare it with green gram. Add few green chilli and a piece of chopped ginger. Add all these to a pressure cooker. Add enough water for the green gram to cook. Add salt as per taste and pressure cook for 4 to 5 whistle. I am also going to prepare the dinner now itself. Preparing a capsicum rice with chicken. So for the masala, I am going to grind few coriander leaves, mint leaves, fennel seed, peppercorn, Coriander powder, garam masala powder, whole cumin seed, turmeric powder, chilli powder, cardamom, clove, cinnamon, few green chilli. Now grind it into a fine paste. Add oil to a pot. I am also going to add 1 teaspoon of ghee to it. You can use plain ghee for this rice or else you can mix both oil and ghee. Add 1 large chopped onion and fry until it is golden brown. I am adding a pinch of sugar so that the onion takes less time to fry. Remove little of the fried onion and keep aside for the garnishing. To the remaining onion add one chopped tomato. Now the tomato has been cooked, I am adding ginger garlic paste. 
fry until the raw smell goes. Add a handful of chopped capsicum. Add the chicken pieces and fry for a minute. Add the ground masala and fry until the oil leaves the surface. Add salt as per taste. Add little water for the chicken to cook. Now the chicken has been cooked, I am adding water for the rice, add little vinegar, check the taste and add little more salt and pepper powder. Now the water has come to a boil, I am adding one biryani leaf. Now add the washed and soaked rice, cook on low flame until done. Now for the kutu curry, I am going to crush coconut, whole cumin seed, turmeric powder and few garlic cloves. The green gram has been cooked, smash it a little bit. To a clean pan, I am adding 2 tablespoon of oil. For the seasoning, I am going to add mustard seed, dry red chilli, curry leaf and hing. Add the cooked green gram and the crushed coconut. Add little water, mix well and wait until it comes to a boil. Check the taste and add salt if required.
Now the kutu curry is almost ready. Finally add pepper powder and coconut oil. Mix well and off the flame. For lunch, I am cooking rice. Now the capsicum chicken rice is ready. Garnish it with fried onion. Now comes the cleaning part. As there is less vessel, I am going to hand wash it. Just before having lunch, I am going to fry these papad. As I had this leftover sambar of the previous day, I didn't prepare any curry. I am going to heat it in the oven and then use it. So the lunch is ready with sambar, kutu curry, papad and pepper pickle. So that day after dinner, we had gone out for a night ride. So having ice cream at Sri Raj Lassi Bar. Dear friends, please support my channel by watching the full video and if you are a new viewer, please subscribe my channel. Bye and take care.